Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Friday. Technically the last day of vacation, because Monday doesn't count because it's a holiday anyways. So I blissfully slept in this morning. It was wonderful. We got up, we made breakfast again, and I have been dicking around in the studio. So yesterday I started playing around with the A7 IV that I have left since I don't even know if I said anything to anybody, but I sold one of my A7 IVs to my friend Josh. I felt like I just didn't need the second A7 IV when I've got this ZVE-10 for most of my vlogging stuff. And let's face it, I don't film anything other than vlogs. Now I kept one A7 IV and that will be a hybrid. So I'll shoot some video on it and mostly pictures. That being said, I decided that I would set everything up in studio for that A7 IV rather than just this ZV-E10. And then Dead Broke Barbecue sort of made me think about the fact that, well, all right, you know, maybe I should uh, get a second camera thing. And he was saying how he had an arm that he used, uh, that he could use. And it got me thinking that, you know, I bought that big wacky double armed magic arm thingy that I got for in here, but realized it was too flimsy to use. Uh, and trust me, it would have been because it's flimsy on this ZVE-10. I had to set it up in a very particular way in the studio to get it to not sink anymore. It's already sunken at its lowest point. And when I mean sink, when I put the camera on it, I could just watch the arm, like just let it go. And that's after gorilla gripping it tight. So it, it wasn't gonna work in here at all. And that's fine. But now it works in the studio. So now I have a second angle with the ZVE-10 sort of off over here, and then the A7 IV is like straight ahead of me up above the monitor and everything. And I had that worked out because I'm keeping the grip on it, blah, 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 blah. I worked out all the particular physics of everything and got it all going. Then I decided that I didn't want to keep switching back and forth with microphones. And I had that Sennheiser MKE 400, which I've used in studio before. So I went, pulled out the freaking microphone, uh, microphone mounting arm and have it mounted on there but i am using the extension the audio extension for my current setup with the speakers and the you know the hub and all that kind of stuff so i'm on my way to best buy after this to go get another audio extension cable then it should be just fine i have moved the overhead ball head like it's on a little um i don't know it's kind of like a bracket that i just twist it up so that's out of the way now and you know it's not in the shot nothing's in the way if i want to do an overhead shot i can just bend it back down again i don't do that many overhead shots i hooked all that shit up in case i wanted to and it's a perfect way to put lighting up there so i've got everything all dialed in now once i get the audio cable hooked up for that microphone then it should be good to go and, and i should be fine and between the ZVE-10 and the A7 IV filming in studio, not all the time, but if I want to, I can add a second angle. But you know, just for shits and giggles, I've got all these devices and I've been sort of throwing different different angles into the mix, different cameras, and everybody seems to like it. So that's what I'm gonna go with. But all right, before somebody shoots me because I'm not getting gas, let me get gas and we can get the hell out of here. Okay, kids, so here's what we got going on now. I have completely moved stuff around in here not completely, but you get my point. I moved the rolling setup so that it could accommodate the remaining A7 IV that I have in a hybrid setup, meaning it's got the grip on it, it's ready to go, whether it's for stills or for video, but I had to accommodate where I had all this stuff set because it was a different height and so on and so forth. And I had moved everything over. I had to move the light and do all that stuff. Then I decided that I wasn't gonna be switching microphones back and forth and all that kind of shit. So I ended up putting the Sennheiser mic, which is just about out of frame and angled right down at me. And that's on an arm. And I, of course I had to go buy that extension cable so that I could uh, keep that up there all the time. So now all I gotta do is just un plug it and plug it back in when it's gone. Then I also added that uh, dual arm magic arm with the clamp setup. And I have that clamped to the overhead setup, like the monitor, you know, that monitor setup that I had that I'm using for the overhead, that I'm not doing any overhead stuff on, but I have that mounted onto the magic arm thingamajigger and I put an ARCA clamp on it. And now I have my ZPE-10 put right there. So it's coming at me from this angle. And that way, just for fun, 
kind of like how I used to do it when I had all my A6600s or all my ZV-1s. And you know, I had an A6600 here, an A6600 there, I had a ZV-1 overhead, you know, all that kind of stuff. And just to switch the angles up. Now, I'm not gonna be doing this every time I film in the studio because even though it's simple to do it in the program, to bring the, the footage over from both cameras and to merge them into one, and then you can just cut back and forth, you still have to record on both cameras you got to pull everything off of the cards. Then you got to match the footage up for each one of these things, get it in the program, match it. But then you have to go through and you have to make your cuts and you have to make it switch between cameras if you want to. And of course, you got to use the, the right audio. And that still takes a lot of work. And for doing a daily vlog, I'm not doing all that work. So that's kind of the way that goes. Now, also what I've done is all right, on the a7 IV, I have actual true s cinetone which I used to have fake s cinetone on all my cameras because I had to do it that way because I never had s cinetone until I got this a7 IV. So the a7 IV has true s cinetone and my ZV E10 has fake S Cinetone, and I set that up pretty much the same way I did with my A6600s. You know, I found some guy who had done a fake S Cinetone, went through, did one of my picture profiles on the A6600s, and got that on there. And then I kind of had to do it a little bit differently on the ZV1 because ZV1 only went up to Cine2, it didn't have Cine4, but the ZV E10 has the Cine4. So the bottom line is, is that I have fake s cinetone here real s cinetone there and i'm sure you can tell the difference it's not perfect but i still kind of like the way that it is it's very muted it's not overly saturated and everything just looks pleasant to me but i have these set up the way that i want them set up and i think they look good and they're good enough for me so that's the way it goes all right i don't want to belabor the point I have just constantly tweaking all my setups, you know that. So this is the way things are gonna look in the studio now. Camera one, camera two. Camera two's not always gonna be on though, but it will be camera one. So all I gotta do is just slide the A7 IV right where it is. You don't have to change anything else. It's all good to go. This, the ZV E10 slides right in there. Don't have to move it, don't have to do anything except I'm not using 10 or 20, I'm at 15 millimeters. So I'll have to zoom that into 15 millimeters and then that gets rid of all the shit that I don't want you to see. And for this one, I honestly don't know where I'm at because it doesn't tell me like the ZVE 10 does, but either way, I, I know where it's supposed to be by looking at it so that everything is in that I want in and that everything that I don't want in is not in the screen. I gotta go back out to the grocery store because I need to get uh, food for dinner because I'm gonna grill hot dogs, but I forgot the pork and beans and I gotta get a bag of sour cream and onion chips because I mentioned them yesterday. Now it's in both of our, our melons that we want sour cream and onion chips. So gonna head out and do that. Last day vacation, technically, but it's been fun. It's been enjoyable. I have gotten to a point where I don't wanna go back to work, big surprise, but enough. That's it, that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.